I started fencing at 10, won my first medal at 14, and was an Olympian at 24. I can picture it now, it's, it's an amazing experience. And walking in to a, a huge roar of noise, walking round the stadium with the British team. And I was lucky enough to do that twice, two Olympics. Finchley Falls started in 1992. I took over probably about 20 years ago. What I was able to do was to just steadily grow the numbers at Finchley Foil. We have had quite a few grants. One of them was the National Lottery Grant, which helped to kickstart the growth in the club so that we can provide kit for everybody. Fencing against someone else means that you have to concentrate every second that you're fencing. If you lose your focus, you will get hit. So you get immediate feedback with every move. Fence. Fencing used to be considered a private school activity if it was at school at all. But there's been a huge change, I think. We're probably in the last 20 years since Finchley Foil has been going. It's very accessible now. The physical strength of individual people doesn't matter. Fences of different builds and different heights can fence with each other. Well, it's a lovely environment to be in. I love going on Saturdays. They're such nice kids, actually. They have been fantastic. And maybe that's partly because it's a friendly club. We try to make it friendly and relaxed. It's quite a powerful experience, I think, being behind a mask and being well protected, but trying to hit somebody else with a sword. There are very many ways in which I have had a fantastic time through fencing. <laughs>